There's no better place to start our adventure than in the capital city, Santa Fe. And Royal Day, I know you love to go up to the capital. I do. Most of my family is from yeah. Santa Fe, so I've spent a lot of time in that part of New Mexico. It's such a unique place. In fact, it's actually nicknamed the city different because of the unique combination of culture and architecture. It's the oldest capital city in the country. It was established back in 1607, and it has the unique distinction of being named the very first creative city in the country. One in 10 jobs in Santa Fe is tied to art and it has the highest percentage of writers and authors in the U.S. There's a lot of history in Santa Fe. On the north side of the plaza is the Palace of the Governors. It's the oldest continuously occupied public building in the country dating all the way back to 1610. It's been home to Spanish, Mexican, American and Pueblo Indian leaders. In 1909 it was designated as the home for the Museum of New Mexico. A lot of New Mexico history is preserved through photos inside. I think photos really give you a sense of connection with the past. There's an immediacy when you look at a photo that is really powerful. It's estimated the museum has one million historic photos, but no one's really counted them all. Only about three to five percent of the collection is digitized, but the photo historians are working to safely store more of them online, immortalizing them for years to come. Today, the Palace of the Governors is known for its long portal, where Native American artists sell jewelry and other works of art.